Okay, hello there. Welcome back to another episode of Adventures in Skyrim 2 2222. I did a Dragonborn Legacy museum run, a marketplace run. Started off on a new fresh day. Got rid of some stuff I was carrying, and we're about to tackle Morvan Scar. Although, to be honest, I can't remember why. <laughs> and since I like knowing why, it doesn't even tell me why. There's some reason we're going in here. Let's find out. If previous playthroughs remind me, oh, my memory isn't what it used to be when I was born. <laughs> I think this has something to do with the hangover quest, the sanguine rose or that guy who I've been tracking down. I think I was supposed to come in here and this is where I find out where he teleported to. That Sam guy, or whatever his name was, I think that's also who made the green hats here. are called apostates. In Gallimwood, they're treated similarly to all the thousand true Talus worshippers. What? And these guys look like mates. I and make me do this for a laugh. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about what goes on down there. I bet Naris gets a kick out of it. Nasty fella. I mean, how close can I get you before they even notice me? You end up there. Never. Oh, that's pretty close. those in here. This place is lousy with bad guys. It's lousy with blood. Does he have a dagger named after him? Sometimes these guys carry some pretty awesome shit. But it's just oh, such a buzzkill checking them. One way I could get a familiar would be to use a staff. I prefer to use my own staff. Alright, so is there any other anything else in here? So I need to go down, right? Yeah, alright. Or was there anything this way? Oh uh, yeah. Check it out here. Is there? No. Alright. Well there's a trillion red dots. They're all unhappy. Wasmu. Alright. We're all carrying some pretty good shite. I'm getting shite heavy. Shirley just rushed into the fray. She is not a pussy. Oh, this guy's like kind of a dick. You can tell. God. What is shooting way back there? Is that... Who is that? He's 
guys are assholes. Yep. <laughs> for this asshole. Those two weapons. Almost anything. They're pretty damn good. <laughs> people here. I like how I can always tell if they're male or female when I take their clothes off. The women immediately get naked. What? It's a setting. <laughs> Whoa. Alright, yo. Feminist. Uh... how you do her and then that's how you do her again <laughs> alarm what was that did I read this okay did I read this no no what is happening right now recipe okay yeah, I thought I just had to read that. What is this? Alerts the caster whenever an opponent crosses. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm not going to carry that, but can you imagine caring at all about that spell? You're within 150 feet of me. Can you notify me, please? Stupid. Lesser bound bow. Get all of these spells I get to learn and never ever use in my entire life. What's Serana doing? Just sucking the life force out of that thing? She's sucking something out of that thing. You go, girl. That's why I like vampires. All right. So which way did I come from? Oh yeah. See, head to Mulf of, Mulf of Gusker. It is. I think it's right up there. I want to check out the rest of this dungeon, though, first. I spit on your novice spell lock. Boom. That's me spitting on it. It's 
and you take in everything in there. I mean, if I remember, it was actually, this thing's actually pretty big. But where you want to go is just right there at that top. But I'm a glutton for punishment, so I'm going to explore the rest of this first. Can't remember if there's more to it. Okay. Oh, I gave him an epic death and he still lived. Oh, that was awesome. Scamp skin. That's probably explanation for why he lived. He was wearing scamp skin. Gross. That sounds like, kind of like a condom. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> I mean, I can see them using scamp skin as a prophylactic. <laughs> It makes sense, right? I mean, out of all of the things you could use as prophylactics, when you're getting busy in a world without toilet paper, you definitely, why? Okay. Don't waste your magic. Don't tell me what not to waste. Wow. All right. You're hopeless. I can't remember if there's anything in Mulvavgosker other than... Feel like I've gone everywhere. All right, so there is only just that one place that it wants you to look at. It's up these stairs, and that's probably why Iago is hurting. He keeps running into that. You dipshit. Yeah, that shows up. Yeah, this is the sanguine rose or whatever. Enchanted key to Gleam Blossom Hollow. Wow. I don't know what any of that is. I'm gonna, wow, that's new to me. I've never seen that before. I don't think I've ever bothered to find a skeleton there before. Wow, okay, that's cool. Let's see what just happened. I love new shit that you find. I mean, that's what makes this game so cool. Let's learn Fury. All right, and then let's... Pig children. Gross. Those are two of my least favorite words. <laughs> All right, deliver to Tolfder. I followed up on your lead about a shady character skulking about taverns working on behalf of Sanguine. Ah, uh, see? You were right. I came across the fellow in the Bannered Mary challenged me to a drinking contest and roofied me. Sanguine then sent me on a wild goose chase throughout Skyrim all the way from Solitude to Bruma. He seems to have left me with a trail of offended individuals. Now I'm supposed to deliver a large bundle of my homegrown gleam blossom. I expect I will meet him there, and I plan to attempt my banishing spell. Wish me luck. Okay. Huh. I mean, mostly that just sounds like further details, right? Because I think you, I think there's nothing other than just like going in here and like getting this staff. I can't remember. I think it like beckons at Daedra, so it's actually pretty awesome. Oh god, we get to see what the modded version of this looks like. Jesus, Iago is still hurt. Wow, this is That looks really good. <laughs>
Wow, I don't remember it looking like this. This is really awesome. Sam and her staff. You're here. I was beginning to think you might not make it. You're quite a trip. I thought you might not remember your first trip here. You had a big night. I think you've definitely earned the staff. I don't want your staff. Oh, the hag raven feather and so on. You can throw all those out. You see, I really just needed something to encourage you to go out into the world and spread merriment. You sneaky Pete. Um, where's my staff? Okay. Need something? Yeah. Just a prank? Just a prank? The Daedric Lord of Debauchery does not deal in mere pranks. This may have begun as a minor amusement, but it wasn't long before I realized you'd make a more interesting bearer of my not quite holy staff. <laughs> yeah, I think you'd like that. Sanguine Rose, I'm carrying too much to run, of course. Thanks, I guess. My pleasure, but I think it's time for you to go. No fun keeping you locked up in here with the staff. <sighs> oh, look, now I can follow Sanguine. Regenerate attributes faster under the influence <laughs> of potion or food. That's oh, stupid. I want to be under the influence of skooma. Indulge in mead, wine, find your way out of jail. <laughs> I'm only at 20% with Sanguine. All right, well, let's see what this weapon does. Sanguine Rose summons the Dramora for 66 seconds. That's what I thought. I mean, come on. I see what they're doing there, but it should really be for 666 seconds. That would make more sense. <laughs> All right. Finished off a night to remember, and boy howdy, was it ever. I have to say, that was pretty fun. Same queen isn't too bad, as far as the queens is going, eh? And I think you deserved a break. Oh, what, what happened? All right, so now, oh, I remember I'm carrying shit. We survived a drunken night with a Tidric Prince. Wow. We know how to have a good time, my friend. Uh, or so the evidence suggests. So awesome. They all have something to say about this random quest line that's so easy to miss. That's so funny. Yes. I will not mention the Hagraven, and you will forget about the goat. Oh, I remember you and the goat. Precisely. No. <laughs> I am joking. My liver would never forgive me. But cats like liver. That's so awesome. You want to talk? No, I want to give you stuff. And then I want to see if Lucian has something to sure. say. Ugh. All set? I'll just Always. see if Lucian... Good afternoon. You don't have anything at the... All right, so I'll give you stuff. Donations are always appreciated. You wish. Oh, you want the stuff back? Mm, we can discuss that later. Elven battle acts of twitching. That looks heavy. I don't want to carry that. I'm going to give that to you. And I'm going to give you both of these. What weapon are you awesome. carrying nowadays? Because you're not using your awesome shield I gave you, which is kind of bullshit. You're getting a drink. You're in the kitchen like a good little girl. <laughs> All right, so it's noon, basically. Oh, look, she's still at the door naked. <laughs> Jesus. Of course, there's a crier. This guy is so annoying. You were there for Rogbeer's execution. Hear ye! I'm a little busy. I want to see what this guy has to say right now. Probably something useless. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow on your knees. You want something? Far and near. By 
lawful decree of our Jarl. When you want something from me? Duels are henceforth banned within the walls of solitude. You want something? I want you to shut up, lady. Alright. Jesus. Oh, you know what? I'm right next to... You are very silly. Alright. Sometimes it's nice just to get a little bit of rocks under your feet instead of fast traveling all the time. And I am right next to a place I do need to go. Right? Look at this person down here that I needed to talk to about something or other. Find more gain off steed. Yeah. You probably want someone else. I'm just the stable boy. Can I help you with something? What is this? Oh dear, this is my great-great-grandfather's name. Passed down through the family to me as well. So after three generations, are you finally here to make good on this and put the statue? Well, yes, it's been gathering dust in our cellar for ages. Yeah, you're quite a salesman. I never said I heard the sell since great-great-grandfather apparently didn't feel right about selling it because it was half paid for already. Well, I have- WHAT?! Oh my god, I'm gonna be broke. I had to pay off my bounty and now four grand? Suck a D. Absolutely. I'll get some hands. We'll carve John up there by tomorrow. Holy shit. Like, I'm gonna be broke. Oh, uh, still, I have $11,000. Okay, check back at the museum tomorrow. Oh, look, I added something more to the. Dra this Dragonborn Legacy Museum is kind of costly. It's costly. What's that? Convince Victoria, what does that say? To release what? I don't even know what the fuck she's talking about. Let's go find out. That's weird. Where was that down at the docks? Convince Victoria, Victoria something. Or at least spicy something, something or other. You're a spicy woman. Oh God, I think I've run into this dumb dog before too. Dog for sale, but you don't want it because it never stops shutting up. I've got a faithful dog for sale. You're interested? No, I've gotten that dog before. You you? It sucks. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was lost in thought. I'm planning my wedding, see. Oh, I'm gonna so kill you later. Ah, yes. If she wants to pay the 2,000 gold I'm not tariff, paying that for her. F that. Yes, that I suppose I could make an Boom. exception. I do like her spiced wine. Fine. Tell her that's on her shipment will be brought up to sell it too shortly. Not David if you want to or Catla if you're looking for work. I can't help you. Hello there. Oh, Blase. You probably want someone else. I'm just a stable boy. You're right. I mm -hmm. want somebody else. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think I remember there being a jar around here, though. Like, on the roof. Right there. Yeah. Oh, and then there's that one in Elder Green. See, there's that jar right there. Boom. I remember that from a previous playthrough. And then should we get the Elder Green one while we remember it? Just like zip in and out of there real quick and grab it? Do we care? Do we even remember why we care about the Elder Green shit? Why not? Oh God, I could still try to go in there and die. Woof. All right, we'll try that one more time. All right, we're gonna tackle the Elder Gloom Sanctuary again. Try to get the Mark of Debella. We've tried that before, not very successfully. Might have even edited it out because it was such a travesty. Um, and then there's a jar in there to get. 
So we're going to start our next episode tackling all of that. So until then, see you next time. Bye-bye.